What up, it's your boy T Bird here with the reaction. I say this video reaction just for this day. It is Friday the 13th. So I caught this from watching my top 10 anime through Watch Mojo. This is Watch Mojo Top 10 Brutal Jason Voorhe Kills. Now, I'm a Freddy man myself, but Jason Voorhe was a bad motherfucker. I got some on my beer or something. I don't know what the fuck. Anyway, Jason Voorhe was a bad motherfucker. Oh, man. I'll tell you one of my theories on horror movies, though, but all I say is, he'll give a fuck where you are. Black, white, young, old, and all three kidding kids. Male, female. He used to fuck people up. So, let me not hold y'all long. Let's do this. Top 10 brutal Jason Voorhees killed. It's been a minute that freak out video, so this is perfect. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. He caught the caught the paint job and sliced all the heads off. That was crazy. Business sure is good. Oh, he killed Harshak. And today we're counting down our picks for the top ten Jason Voorhees. Oh, this is fun. This is too funny. Kill him with a party popper. Party horn. Ooh. By Jason Voorhees in both the Friday the Thirteenth films. Damn. And crossover films where he appears. That, that. However, we'll Ooh. only be including kills performed by Jason himself. Oh yeah. Hi. So we won't have any other killers or characters possessed by Jason that, on this list. Not. Ooh. In case you haven't guessed, a spoiler alert is definitely in order. Kelly, ah, come on, Kelly. Number ten, corkscrew and cleaver. Ooh. Friday the thirteenth, the final chapter. Four. God, that was four. Afraid. Played by Crispin Glover, Jimmy is a socially awkward teen who is desperate for some good sex. Unfortunately for him, he accompanies his friends to a weekend getaway at Jason Voorhees' old stomping huh. grounds. He was on this. Oh, I don't know anybody new. I know that. Sex is a great way. I knew After successfully making love to one half of a pair of gorgeous twins, Jimmy goes downstairs Ooh. to celebrate with a glass of wine, but is unable to find a corkscrew. Didn't Luckily, Jason I... happens to have one and promptly gives Jimmy a hand and a meat cleaver to the face. Hey, Ted, where the hell's corkscrew? <laughs> ah! Bloodier kills in the film, Jimmy's death is all the more shocking as his sympathetic characterization suggested he may have been the hero of the final chapter. Jimbo! Number 9, Garbage Can Drowning, oh, Friday yeah. the 13th, Part 8. Got my Jason man's back. Manhattan. Walking corpses are not real. Authority figures don't usually fare well in the Friday the 13th franchise, and biology teacher Charles McCulloch is no exception. Yep, I told you. more than a little uptight and using fairly cruel methods to cure his niece Rennie of her aquaphobia mm -hmm. so it's all the more fitting that Mr. McCullough ends up he kind of deserved that one I'm sorry he kind of deserved that shit taking McCulloch by the ankles and plunging him head first into a sludge filled garbage can Ooh, Jason performs nasty, one of his he most deserved it, though. and arguably comedic kills also one of a handful of kills where Jason inadvertently deals out his own lethal brand of justice mm -hmm. to a more villainous victim. Mm -hmm. Better swim ready before Jason pulls you down. Number eight, Sauna Rock. That, oh Friday, yeah, this shit was party. crazy. Jason takes Manhattan. Let's fight, Julius. Guess I need to work on my left right left combo. You can never let your guard down when Jason's around. After losing a fight to Julius, a boxer who would also have a memorable encounter with Jason in this mm -hmm. film, Hopefully this unnamed top victim too. tries to blow off some steam in the sauna. With the towel over his face obscuring his vision, mm -hmm. the boxer assumes it's Julius who enters to join him. He then finds out otherwise when Jason plunges a sauna rock through his chest cavity. Mm -hmm. I tell you, Jason was no fucking joke. This execution was yet another example of the more tongue-in-cheek kills, which had become more and more commonplace in the Friday the 13th franchise. He's undefeated. You know that? Number seven, head spin, 
Friday the 13th, Part 6. Oh, he got my home, girl. You guys, try not to wake the kids. As the Friday the 13th franchise continued through numerous sequels, there was a noticeable shift in Jason's kills, as they increasingly became the stuff of black comedy instead of dead serious horror. All right, who's out there? However, home, his girl. killing of Sissy in Part 6 served as a reminder of how truly vicious Jason can be. After assuring a frightened girl that there's nothing to fear outside of her cabin, Sissy finds out there is indeed plenty to be afraid of when Jason comes a knocking. <laughs> After yanking her out of a window, Jason twists her head around 180 degrees before tearing it off completely. <laughs> mm. Mr. Voorhees seems to have perfected this move, as he's done it before to a cheap right, so coroner. Oh! He got my man! So good, so I twist her head open. Ooh! Friday the 13th, Part 3. Oh, the 3D. This third installment in the Friday the 13th franchise 3D. sought to take advantage of 3D technology uh -huh. and featured several kills that exploited it to the fullest. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, my man's right here. Huh? This scene in which the character Rick meets his maker exemplifies this element. After his car dies and he begins to search the grounds, Rick is caught by Jason and has his head crushed in the serial killer's vice-like grip. Even more grotesque is the fact that Jason squeezes Rick's head with such tremendous force that it causes his left eye to pop out of its socket. <laughs> An effect which is considerably enhanced by Part 3's use of 3D. Mm -hmm. Number 5. Oh, I was hoping it'd be in it. Oh. That's a giant cage got that shit for me. Arriving in the Big Apple, Jason squares off against amateur boxer Julius in a battle of fisticuffs on a rooftop. In a lengthy sequence that showcases Julius's boxing prowess, Jason absorbs blow after blow to seemingly no effect. After bloodying his own fists and exhausting himself without even managing to knock Jason off his feet, Julius gives a sportsmanlike invitation to Jason to deliver his best shot. Your best shot. Unfortunately for Julius, Jason packs plenty of punch in his own right as he delivers an uppercut which knocks Julius's head mm. clean off his shoulders. The giant cage as a giant cage got a phone. <laughs> Oh, he, oh my God! This was this was this fucked me up while I watched the movie. I did not expect that that shit to happen. Hair smells like menthols anyway. Well, he's a dick anyway. He deserved it, but I didn't think he get fucked up like that. For his bloody work. He, he was a dick though. Nearly unlikable tray in bed having a beer. Jason decides like, right here, to I ain't think God would turn him. Let you know it's just. <laughs> Stabbing Trey with his machete and piercing the bed's mattress. The Jason heart. displays his supernatural strength by folding the bed and Trey's yeah, I thought it was it, but I didn't expect this. Ah, this kill is yeah. the first of many in Freddy vs. Jason mm -hmm. and serves as an example of Jason's more brutal approach to killing, yeah. as opposed to Freddy Krueger's more psychological. <laughs> Everybody was all spread like, spread like a world that helped set the stage for this clash of horror movie titans. <laughs> Mm. Number three, sleeping bag. Oh. Friday the thirteenth, part seven. Oh. Blood. It's gonna be a cold night tonight. He fucked her One up with that sleeping bag. One of veteran Jason actor Kane Hodder's personal favorites. This kill from the seventh installment in the Friday the Thirteenth franchise takes full advantage of the camping theme prevalent in the series. And it came okay, on. And it, the, the it was a. Uh, it was a. Uh, the uh, blood displays example for this, his finisher one of X. uses a variety of weapons to slay his victims. Dan, what are you doing? And he uses this for a more common X. His finisher more guy when he uses a camper who tries to hide from him in her sleeping bag. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Undeterred, Jason simply picks her in the bag up and slams both into a tree to get the job done. <clears throat> Originally, the scene called for Jason to slam the sleeping bag into the tree several times. It did, the and blood's coming out. Shortened, so the film could avoid an X rating. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! Number two, Machete to the Face. <laughs> this shit was funny! This shit had me hollering! This was brutal! This was funny as fuck! <laughs> 
is a wheelchair bound this shit was funny as hell so hold on ability get to him but unfortunately his impressive upper body strength isn't enough to save him when jason picks up where his mother left Jason's off in the original friday you? the 13th zoom. Hey, zoom. mark ends up on the receiving end of a machete in the looking, face like, in one of part you? two's most <laughs> horrifying moments for the finishing touch jason even goes the extra mile with this kill by sending mark careening down a staircase <laughs> while still seated in his wheelchair with blade that shit was too funny <laughs> before we unveil our number I'm one mission. Pick, here are some honorable mentions ah ah and with disarm all two yeah. Hustle. Oh yeah. Turn my, do my man back. Ah, the cop do back. Oh, best beer. To, uh... Number one, liquid. Oh, this was fucked up. This was a fucked up kill. That Jason's was a fucked up kill. Outer space spawned some of his most memorable and creative. That films. was the guy be most fucked up one. Murder of scientist Adrian. After waking up from a cryogenic slumber in a fairly unpleasant mood, Jason attacks Adrian and plunges her head first into a vat of liquid nitrogen, which freezes her entire head. In a oh man, of he seconds. fucks up with this one. Oh, oh shit! Having clearly killed her when he pulls her back out. Jason adds insult to injury by slamming Adrian's frozen face into the countertop and shattering Damn. it. Damn. Uh, that was fucked up. Ooh. Balancing gory shock value with a touch of dark humor. This kill arguably encapsulates the essence of Jason Voorhees' modus operandi. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Yeah, this is a good one. Ah. What's your favorite Jason Voorhees kill? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Now cut that out right now. That's not funny. Oh, the Lord. The harpoon to the eye. Oh, yeah. The, oh, yeah. That was crazy. Oh, man. I'm telling you. This is perfect for Friday the 13th today. Oh, man. Jason, I tell you. I say this to people all the time. Jason gave no fucks on who we kill. Well, you black, white. Young, old, and you know, he killed kids, male, female, he gave no fuck. The reason why I say that, because you know, I know a lot of horror movies go like this, though. Black folks get, get taken out first, or they get taken, or to be happy to get taken out of the movie, they don't kill, be the first kill, they happen to get killed. But they don't get as fucked up as like the white folks and the Asian folks and stuff like that, though. And females don't get as bad as a dude. And something like the older folks don't get that just jacked up as the dudes. Or if they should get, if they do get fucked up, they'd be all off screen and something like that. But Jason movies, Friday the 13th movies, oh man, nobody's safe. See, y'all, uh, my man got his head knocked off, could have cleaned off with the uppercut, and he was black. And his, the, the girl with the party popper, party, party horn to the eye was crazy. And you see, the one black girl got their head twisted up and ripped off. Jason gives no fuck, and the old dude getting drowned, like. And many these joints was, was a lot of female kills, too. They got fucked up pretty bad, especially the number one with the nitrogen, though. I'm telling you, Jason gave no fuck. He was fucking people up in Friday 13. So, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page. It's your boy T-Bear signing off. One love.